there, there's a much more positive vibe about vinyl right now than there was 20 years ago. 20 years ago, it was in in uh, major decline. It is it is a limited market. It's not going to become, you know, the 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 main format for pre-recorded music ever again. It's just not going to happen. So there's a segment of the, of the market that prefers analog sound over digital. They don't like digital. Even, even with all the improvements that have been made in digital since, since say, CDs first came out and they were declared to be perfect sound forever. Uh, and, you know, they weren't. They were, a lot of them were, sounded pretty bad. You know, they might not have the flaws, physical flaws that, that you know, vinyl could tend to have with either warping or clicks or pops or scratches and that sort of thing. But they're not perfect. You know, they've done a lot over the course of the last 25 years to improve the sound of CDs uh, and digital audio, but the, the hardcore still likes still likes analog. It's hip and it's cool compared to a CD or a download. You know, there's, there's youth are driving that, that part of the market, teenagers and young adults who, uh, it's different, it's, you know, my dad played CDs, I'm gonna be a vinyl guy kind of thing, you know. I've been collecting ever since I discovered used records existed. And when I was really little, my grandmother used to come to the house with Beatles 45s. And that's how it started with me and music was with like the Beatles and the 45s and we would dance around my crib. If you're already into the music and then to get that piece of something that's from then, you know, that whole thing and having all the artwork and all that stuff, that's a big part of it. And some people like, obviously like the sound better. I like to color records because uh, that's what I have in my life, on my time. No? Uh, it's a big difference between the digital and the analog. The digital is more like a, a sound, you know, so it's more like a plastic for me. So no, no, it's very clear, but it's not there in front of you. No? The analog is more direct, more, more clean for me, even if you hear the noises, but it's more like you listen to the artist. And you know what I like? I like that the young people, also the young, Young people like the punk and metal, they go around looking for records. I see them, you know, sometimes in front of me looking for guys like punk and metal. Lots of, most of the teenagers that come in, they usually tend to buy like the Beatles records and stuff like that, which usually tends to be like more of what the younger generation collects, uh, like Led Zeppelin, that type of stuff. Um, but I don't know, it tends to be very like wide variety for everyone depending on the person. We sell usually a lot of records, we even sell a tracks sometimes. I guess it just really depends on the person. Today we have mp3 players and everything, we can just run, go on the go, it goes in your car, it's so much easier, but when I really want to sit down and just enjoy something, I'll, I'll put on a record. Yeah.